Hi there. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to import and resize SVG files into Cricut Design Space for your Dollhouse miniatures. So let's start by opening a blank canvas in Design Space. On the left hand menu, there is an upload button. Click that and upload image. Either drag and drop or browse your file explorer. In this example, I'm going to choose the Calyx 12 scale 4x4 four four cubes. Hit open and hit continue to not load the text elements. This is why the PDF printable will come in handy because you can verify the shapes and the measurements. Hit save and your most recently uploaded file should be on the left hand side. Click that and insert, insert image. The file is loaded, but you can't see it on the canvas because if you click on the warning sign here, it says the image is too large. So what we're gonna do is make sure it's chosen and reduce the file size to maybe about eight inches wide and keep it locked and change the x, y, z uh, coordinates to 0 and 0. Now we can see the file. And the task square is partially hidden, but we can see here that it is larger than 1 inch from the uh, based on the grids. So I'm using the grid as a guide to reduce the task square to roughly 1 inch. Let's see if that will do it. I will hit ungroup and click on the test square. It's almost there, but I would like it to be closer. Hit undo and that will regroup the whole components. And I'm going to drag it even smaller. And let's see if that will do it. Ungroup, verify 0.989. Now I've gone too far and let's drag it out a little bit and let's see if that is close. It's much closer and I think I will stop there. I'm going to delete it. Now I am going to change the material color to white just so it's easier to see if there is any cut lines in the middle in this case we don't have any cut lines so the inside of the shapes are just blank and we're going to make sure if you don't go through resizing individual pieces in theory they should be cutting in proportion to each other so your dollhouse piece will still be in scale but i would like to make more than just one bookcase maybe at a different time so i like all the measurements to be exactly correct and that's why i choose to change the measurements to the exact measurements and here i'm using my pdf printable with the measurements as a guide and i start one by one change the measurements of each piece. So here you can see I change it by changing the width first because it's easier while keeping it on keeping it locked and then I unlock the proportion and adjust the width or the height and if there are any notches it should adjust automatically in proportion and i make sure to relock each shape just so that way it doesn't change and just double check 
and everything checks out and over here now you can start duplicating the shapes according to the quantities that we need but we're not going to go into details on that part but all of your pieces are basically ready to be duplicated and then cut i hope this helps thanks